Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, presenter here at BOTB. We're here this morning to judge the Dream Car Competition and the Lifestyle Competition running from the 3rd to the 9th of June 2019. Just before I hand over to Jamie, massive congratulations to both of the winners in the competitions last week. In the Dream Car Competition, picking up one of the modern classics, the BMW E46 M3 was Christo Nucci and he won the 20 grand in cash. And in the Lifestyle Competition, picking up this fantastic Ducati motorbike was Usman Khan. I'm now going to pass over to Jamie Tashinsky from Onside Law, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. Good morning, my name is Jamie Tashinsky from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging process today. Firstly, I can confirm the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. Now, I would like to introduce the judges and ask them to pick a ball out of a hat to determine their seating position. First up, Matt Cannon. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon, and I'm a senior county referee and active footballer. Number three. Now, Ari Mendonca. Good morning, uh, my name is Ari Mendonca. I've been involved in football for over 30 years. First as a player, now as a referee. Six. Good Leo Donovan. Good morning, Jamie. Hello, my name is Leo Donovan. I'm an ex professional football player. I haven't been with Chelsea, Fulham, and Leighton Number one. Andy Redway. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, my name is Andy Braithwaite. I'm a football referee, mentor, and licensed observer. Number four. Kieran Fitzgibbon. Good morning, Jamie. Hello, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years. I'm now a referee and a referee secretary. And I've got number five. And Chad Chowdhury. Good morning, Jamie. I'm Chad Chowdhury, active referee and a referee tutor. And my number is two. Okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I'll ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before coming to a panel decision on the central screen. Matt, what was your decision on this? Yeah, mine is the um, Red Cross. I think the ball's coming in, and I think this player was looking to play it. Uh, and by the looks of this player, I think he's just come and barged him in the back, which has caused this player to sort of turn and tilt. But he's still got his eyes on the ball. Uh, which I think is up and looking to his right, uh, and I've got the centre ball where my red cross is. Thank you. Chad, can you talk us through your position? Right, uh, mine is the green cross, and I've taken it on the basis that I think this guy is going up for the ball. Although he's not looking, he's got his eyes partially shut, and this guy's about to head it, so I think there's a sort of a... It's in between them, and I don't think it's quite as low as, as the others have suggested. That's why I put my green cross there. Thank you. Andy, what was your judgment of this position? Thanks, Jamie. I'm the blue cross here, just, just slightly above yellow. Um, judging by these two guys' eyes, as has been said before, the ball is obviously in between the two of them. Uh, I'm not too sure whether they've either both attempted to head the ball or is both coming in just about to he head the ball. Um, but again, judging by their eyes and by his hair here, I think he might have literally just got a flick on and it's quite close to his head. And hence his eyes have uh, been as sort of half shut. That's why I've placed the centre of the ball with my blue cross there. Thank you. Kira, what was your position here? Yeah, mine's the orange cross here. Um, I agree with Andy. I think both of these players are either just going to head the ball or have just been contested the ball. Um, I think looking at this particular player, his eyes are almost closed, his hair is tousled. Um, so he may well have just made contact with the ball. This player as well looks as though he's up. Uh, Brow is furrowed and he also is looking to make contact with the ball. So I think the ball is just between them and taking their eye lines so I've put my cross there. Thank you very much. Harry, what was your thinking on this picture? Yes, my cross is the grey over there. Uh, I felt that the ball is basically in between them. A uh, player in, in blue in the back uh, He's about to close his eyes, uh, thinking he's going to still have this ball. Uh, player in, 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 in dark, uh, in navy, is uh, feeling the pressure from behind but he's still looking uh, at the ball, I, where, where are these lines crossed? I, I place my dot. Thanks. And finally, Leo, what was your thinking on this image? Yeah, mine is the purple cross. There's two players in the shot. I, I think they're contesting the ball. I think the player in blue it, is trying to compete. Obviously, the player in black. I think the player in black is in a, a stronger position. I think he's he's kind of holding them off. I think he's going to flick this ball on. I think he's tilting his body uh, just to get his head to the ball. So I think he's he, for me. He was going to win this header, uh, looking at his eye line. I think he's looking upwards. 
if you look at his body shape and his head, he's just tilted to, to his left, so that's why I went there. Thank you very much. Okay, judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the six individual selections. Okay, so I'm going to put some iron on his in. I think he's looking in this direction. But I've got mine down here. And the people on here have actually got quite a wide spread. Mm. It's one of those, Kieran, isn't it, where you know, I'm quite far to the right from everybody else, but I kind of feel, I still think he, it could be there. Yeah. I mean, it could know, be anything. See, yeah. I think... But, but we all had different opinions about what had happened. Exactly. I think it's large yeah. in that yeah. way. Exactly. A couple said that the guy in the hair, hair you know, all the hair sticking up, headed it. Yeah. yeah. I think Leo said, you, he's just waiting to flick it on. So yeah. those opinions are the reason for the spread, I think. It's, exactly. It's how it's you know, and that's... That's why I've gone as high as it, because I think he's headed it. But, you know, I could quite agree with all the other yeah. positions that you've got there as well. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think that we've got, each got our good reason for why we've picked where we've got them, when we put our crosses. But in this case, the average is near to these two. So we could choose that and say, well, we're going to have to go with that as the majority choice. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. we cannot take anyone on this one due to the spread anyway, so I think I would go with the average. Anybody else, any thoughts? Just as an insight, take those two out. Yeah, take, those, that's what I was gonna say. take those two out and see what happens. Do you know what, I think the average previously was better. I think that's a little, I personally think that's a bit too low. I don't think it makes, I mean, I don't think it makes much difference to having them in or not having them in because it's a, a choice of, Either the low spot is right, or the high spot is right, or the side spot is right. Yeah. I don't think it, it's. I'm sorry. I was just think like Chad there. I I I will keep them in. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, think so. Too. Yeah. Because I think That's the average saying, yeah. looks better with those with those two in it. I think we've got two that are very close to the average, yeah. and yeah. the rest of us are all slightly different or quite yeah. different places. So if we go with the two that are closest, is that we happy to do that? Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. I'll like this. Thank you. I need you here. The coordinates are one six one zero. 752. These coordinates will now be passed to the independent auditors Wilkins Kennedy to determine the, the winner of the competition. That concludes the judging process.